Well, hello and welcome to this, our Sunday. Today is the Feast of Corpus Christi, or the Body of Christ, and it's a very special day. Whereas Catholics, we believe that in our liturgy, we, uh, we have the Body of Christ, which we consume in the Mass. And that, so it's very important today that we celebrate this, uh, this tremendous Feast of the Church. Uh, what we'll do today is we'll read the gospel passage and we read the passage where St. Mark is talking about the First Supper, the First Communion. Over the last couple of weekends, many of our uh, younger members of our community have received their First Communion. It's been a time of great joy and great celebration as we celebrate this great uh, feast in our church. And so what we do today is we remember the First Communion that the disciples entered into, uh, the communion which gives us a sense of great hope and great encouragement in our lives. And so we read from the Gospel of St. Mark, Lord be in my mind, Lord be in my lips, Lord be in my heart. It was the first day of the thin bread and the Passover lambs were being killed. Jesus asked his disciples, and he asked them to go into the city where you will meet a man carrying a jar of water. Follow him, and when he goes into a house, say to the owner, Our teacher wants to know if you have a room where he can eat the Passover meal with his disciples. The owner will take you upstairs and show you a large room, which is furnished and ready for you to prepare. And so prepare the meal there. The two disciples went into the city and found everything just as Jesus had told them. And so they prepared the Passover meal. And during the meal, Jesus took some bread in his hands. He blessed the bread and he broke it. Then he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, this is my body. Then Jesus picked up a cup of wine and he gave thanks to God. And then he gave it to his disciples and said, drink it. And so they all drank some. Then he said, this is my blood, which is poured out for many people. And with it, God makes his agreement. From now on, I will not drink any wine until I drink the new wine in God's kingdom. And then they finished the meal and sang a hymn and went to the Mount of Olives. And this is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And so, my friends, the story, of course, of the Last Supper, if we hear it around Easter time, but here we hear it again because uh, in our Catholic tradition especially, we acknowledge that the presence of God in the body and the blood of Christ is real and is present in our lives. And so just as Jesus and his followers shared a meal together so it is important that we all share a meal and try to understand each other and where we're all coming from we're all got different ideas and different backgrounds and we need to try to understand and be kind and tolerant to each other in these different backgrounds and know that jesus christ in the body of christ that we celebrate today is always present in our world and present in our lives I wish you and your families a very peaceful uh, Sunday this Sunday. And may you always know uh, that Jesus is present in our world and present in our church. And may God bless and protect you.